have kind of a track record with UCLA. What's it like to be kicking off uh, conference play with them, and what is it, what, what is uh, seeing those colors on the other side mean to you guys? I think it's kind of cool that it's um, opening weekend for us because opening weekend we're notoriously good. So, um, and you know UCLA, I think we care more about than any other team really because um, you know that's a team that we have put away and that's a team that's put us away and. Um, naturally, no matter how each team is doing every year, I think it's we could both be trash, one could be trash, one could be good, and it's always going to be a good series. So um, if there's a weekend to get out to Jane Sanders, it's this one, that's for sure. So you like it. You like leading off with, with a, a team like UCLA in conference play. Yeah, you know, last time we led off with one of the top pack teams was Washington my sophomore year, and um, that was the best we've ever played against one of the top teams in the pack. So I'm excited for what this weekend has to hold. We're preparing for Garcia, who is obviously an excellent pitcher. And, you know, I think we're going to be ready to go against her. I think it's going to be very fun. A lot of as a whole, how do you guys feel right now? Just how consistently can you, can you put the ball in play and score runs? Yeah, you know, the beginning, the preseason is to prepare for the season. And I think that our coaches did a really good job getting us a, a preseason that will prepare us for games like UCLA right now. We have a top 10 matchup. Guess what? We've already had four or five top 10 matchups this year. So um, I think we're ready to go. It's it's definitely, it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it's going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be hard. But um, I think we're ready for it. And, and I think um, our, our BP has been good. Our team looks ready to string some things together and do whatever it takes to get the runs across. A lot of players coming into a weekend like this would say that they approach it the same way that they do every weekend. But do you try and bring more energy, more excitement during a week like this building up to UCLA? Um, it's definitely important to not play the name across the chest. It's, that's definitely something that um, we like to think about is, is every team is the same but yes, I mean UCLA is UCLA. We're not going to sugarcoat that either. So um, we're not playing the team across the chest. We are going to play our game, and our game will beat UCLA's game. And then after the series last year, when they you know stopped you guys from breaking the record, the wins record, uh, coming into this, do you feel the non-conference has prepared you more than last year's non-conference did for this particular team? Um, definitely. I think um, going into last year. I thought we had a lot of good things going for us and, and our preseason prepared us in a different way and that was what we needed last year and this is what we needed this year. To get to the next step we needed to do def something different so um, yeah having a harder preseason I think definitely prepares us for one of the top pack teams first weekend of pack play so yes I think the preseason definitely got us prepared this year for a team like this to open up with. Mike called uh, Mary a clone of you, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think that's very interesting because I think Mary and I are completely different players. I think that um, I challenge her to do some things the way I do them, and she challenges me to do some things the way she does them. So in that way, maybe we um, have some moments of mirroring each other, but I think we're completely different players. How close are you to that $10,000 goal to shave your head? Um, I'm only at $2,000, and I say only, but I also know I got $2,000 in a week, and I have a whole month left to raise it. So. We'll see if everyone wants me to shave my head or not. It's a win-win for me. Money goes to a good cause, so um, I'll either have a cute short haircut or you're going to be looking at a buzz cut in front of you, so I'm excited for it. You've been very vocal about that clause. What does that mean to you personally? Obviously, if you are willing to share, but it seems like it does mean a lot to you. Yeah, I mean, uh, cancer is obviously very close to my heart. My mom battled breast cancer last year, and I know it's completely different. It's childhood cancer, but... At the, end of the, at the end of the day, the disease just sucks in general, and nobody deserves to go through it, especially not someone who is so young and, doesn't, and hasn't even done anything with their life yet. So um, cancer is very special in my heart, and I was talking to my mom about it. I told her that I was ready to cut 10 inches off, and she called me, and she was like, the hair grows back. And my mom is in the process of growing her hair back right now, and I was like, man, you're right. I'm being selfish by keeping any of my hair, and then that was when I decided to go bald, so um, yeah, it is special to me, and, and I think it would be very special to the people that the money would go towards, so I'm excited for it. Is that what the pink wristbands represent? Yep, that's my mom, and then this is a low-kai bracelet, which has um, dirt from the Dead Sea, water from Mount Everest, means in your, high low, in your highs and lows, remember to stay centered, so yep. that's cancer.